What is going on, guys? We are directly back where we began last time. Little thing is telling me to go that way, so... Use your map to check your current position as well as the terrain and surrounding structures. You can update your map with new information by finding map fragments at steels along the road. Really place beacons of light to serve as landmarks. Okay, that's cool. But, as I was saying, welcome back to another Elden Ring video here on my channel. We are starting literally right where we ended last time. We got through the starting area. If you guys did not see that episode, you can either click in the link below where it will take you to a playlist of all of the Elden Ring videos and go back and watch this from the beginning. But we have an NPC here. Let's go ahead and start talking. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Obviously. Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. And that means? Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Well, that's rude. Okay. Luckily for you, however... There is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, the path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. All right, so I'm guessing that's what that is. That little line of light. Makes sense, all right. Well, I want to explore. Take that. That's a, that's a thing. In each area, you may find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations as co-op and hostile summoning signs created with small effigies gather at summoning pools. Okay, cool. Small golden effigy. This game looks so gorgeous, man. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy to finally be in another Souls-like game. An earthly flower. Okay. Oh, you can kill the little animals. Come here. Haha. -ha. What do you have? Thin beast bones and a sliver of meat. Okay. A beach down there. There's more things over there. This game is... Oh my goodness. I'm so... Freaking happy. Honestly, I'm so happy. What is this little red flower? Can I pick that? I can. Arterial leaf. Okay. Nimble sword. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Little swamp area kind of thing looking. Okay, so you smack golden rune. Smack the shiny things. Ah yes, from software you give us more shiny things. Thank you very much. Anyways. So, Elden Ring. Finally back. Super excited, super happy. Uh, I did watch uh, Fighting Cowboy whenever he was playing through like the, the beta testing or network testing or whatever it was that they had. Uh, so I kind of have a small idea about what's going on. And if you don't know who Fighting Cowboy is, you definitely need to go watch him. He is amazing. 
Uh, but there's the open world portion of this is what is super attractive to me. Herba. Herba. Okay. I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, but the grace was pointing towards that building over there. But I want to explore first. See what I can find. Like killing these animals does give you runes. They're not souls, but runes, which I guess are the new souls. A lot of crafting items. Uh, we're going to take a look at these in a second. Can you pick these? Tarnished Golden Sunflower. Okay. We're just trying to figure out what it is that we need to... Like, what to look out for in the world as, like, material gathering type things. And, of course, exploring the new world and diving in, you know? So, what we have over here... The music seemed to change there for, for a second. All right, that is over there. I wonder if that's another area that we'll be able to get to. But I do have slight information on Elden Ring. Uh, but I've been able to avoid spoilers and weapon locations and stuff like that. Well, as, as much as was in the network test is what I've seen. Light pinion. Okay. That's a that's a big boy. Can we fight the big boy? Shall we fight the big boy? I think we should. And uh, just kind of see what happens, you know? You can target his legs. That's a good sign. Camera did a really weird thing there. Rolled out of that. Okay, he falls. Ooh. Post opportunity? Come on, get up there. No! No! He fell wrong. Ow. That hurt. Okay, that was kind of a panic roll going on there. Smash a flask. Ow, fuck. Owie. Ah. It's painful. And I'm almost dead. Roll out of that. Got greedy. Oh God. Almost dead. Okay, he's dead. Oof. All right. That was that was interesting. Vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flasks. The number and type of flasks to be replenished varies depending on the enemy group. You cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum. Okay. So... Okay, so for defeating him, I gained a thousand souls and boosted my flasks. Well, not boosted, but refilled them. Uh, that comes in extremely helpful. Come here. Come here. I'm not escaping. Yes, you're escaping. Ooh, shiny. Golden rune. I feel like that is a location I should not be at, right? Yeah, that doesn't look like something I want to mess around with at this current moment. I just wanted to see if we could beat the giant. And we did. Which I am uh, very happy about. So that's cool. 
Is that another shiny? I see another shiny. I must go for a shiny. There's shiny footsteps down there. But if you know about my channel, you know I enjoy pain. Uh, because most of my channel was has been centered around Escape from Tarkov for a very long time. And uh, that game is the embodiment of pain. But I believe now that Elden Ring is out, Elden Ring is going to take over my soul for a while. And... Come here. That is what... Uh, what we're gonna be doing. Okay, mushrooms. All right, let's uh, let's look at some. So item crafting is not available. Used to gain a small number of runes, so that's like souls that you pick up. Okay, crafting, 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 crafting. So these are all crafting items, okay. Good to know. Uh, let's go back up this way. That doesn't look like a section that we really want to be in yet down there on the beach. We'll, uh, we'll come check that out later. Uh, like I said, I have done my absolute best to try and avoid any type of spoilers or anything that could really mess up my first playthrough of the game. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't even sure until today if I was going to make a playthrough, like an original initial playthrough. I guess is the word, an initial playthrough for this. I didn't know if I was just gonna play it and enjoy it my first time, or go ahead and get first playthrough on camera. But I decided, you know, I think the best content is whenever I'm just getting smacked around and don't know what's happening. So, we are going to come over here. Because it was, so the grace, little grace line, you can kind of see it like very faintly off in the distance. It's kind of pointing over here. Uh, and that's helpful. There's a fire over here. And there's little light. The light is converging on another place of grace. Go ahead and grab that. Uh, I'm going to try and keep these videos under 20 minutes long. Uh, but if we're in the middle of a dungeon, as I've seen, uh, or, or trying to beat a boss or something like that, it might go a little bit longer. Uh, at a smithing table, you can spin runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. Okay, cool. Somewhere in the lands between, you may meet a blacksmith who can make your armaments even stronger. I hope his name is Andre. Bring back Andre. Smithing stone. So I guess that's kind of like the Titanite scales and such. Let's talk to this guy. I can see it. It's Santa. I can also see that you're not after my throat. Not right now. Mind of purchasing a little something. I am Carly, purveyor of fine goods. What you got? Uh, let's ask about him. I am of a nomadic people. It's the nice thing to do. Wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. Oh. Mm. Well, nice. Uh, recommendation. You know, if you can spare the runes, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every custom accounts, after all. Okay. okay. Good to know. Normal shop. Crafting kit. So I'm guessing that is what you need. Or, uh. 
expands crafting repertoire. So that opens crafting. Flask of Wonder and Zeke. Waypoint rules. Four hundred for the both. Sure, why not? Um, let's expand our crafting repertoire. Sure, why not? We have a crafting kit. You can make various items from the tier you'll find. Item crafting menu. Okay. We'll need crack pots or other containers to craft certain items. You'll not be able to make more of these items. You have containers. Container items will run out with use, but the containers themselves will remain. Okay. Interesting. Let's look at our item crafting. You can make various items from materials that you find. You can learn to craft more items and find a Cool. Rainbow stones, I guess they're like prism stones. Row of raisins. Okay, so this is for your horse. Restores HP like that. Uh, bone darts. Interesting. Really good for long range stuff. Roped fire pot. Okay, so those are like fires. Okay. We're calling finger remedy. Reveals co op and hostile summoning signs. Good to know. Bone arrow, bone arrow fletched, and a bone bolt. So bows and the like. Uh, so let's craft those. Let's see. Those are good for. Throw those down there. Good to know, good to know. So that's pointing up that way. I guess we head up there. Uh, TikTok. TikTok has ruined one thing for me because it's been nothing but Elden Ring. But apparently this guy's really tough. So I say... Let's fight him. Really? I cracked you? I hit you and you just go flying towards the guy that... I'm wary of fighting. Oh god! Okay, he scared me. Alright, we're good. Everything's fine. Oh god. Ooh hoo hoo hoo, he almost one shot me. My favorite. Love enemies that almost can fucking one shot. Oh, he's charging. So staying on shield side. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, he scared me and then pummeled me into absolute dust. Any icon you can show me? Hey, that's our first death of the playthrough. My goodness, on dying, you would be revived the last side of grace that you visited. You drop any runes in your possession at the side of your death, obviously. Die again rep before reclaiming those runes. They will be lost forever. Makes sense. Oh, so it now tells you the direction of your runes. Okay, so it's like that. Cool, 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 cool. There's big ombre. Um. Let's come fight you later. Oh, so that's what it looks like. Okay. Used to be like a blood stain in the Dark Souls. Actually, in all the Souls like games, even Bloodborne, it's like a blood stain. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and move this way, the way that the light was pointing. Uh, we're about to reach 20 minutes. Hey there. Ow, <laughs> I wasn't locked on. Backstab. Doesn't kill you in one shot. But it allows me to two-shot you. Pillage corpse, you gave me your leg armor. Thank you. Collect all the things. Why are you screaming? What 
are you? Root resin. All right. Dope, dope, dope. Backstab. Ooh. That backstab did one shot. Very nice. We have a little cave here. What are you? Okay, there's a place of Groveside Cave. Okay. Good to know, good to know, good to know. So, we're finding a gear cave and another side of grace. That is where we're going to end this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had some fun watching me get smacked around by the big, uh, big Howard guy on horseback. We're going to come back and fight him later. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys uh, did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what I did wrong. Tell me what you know about the game. As long as it's not spoilers. I don't want to know spoilers. But I am recording these kind of far in advance. And I'm recording multiple a day, so I don't think you're really going to be able to spoil too much for me. But uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.